Hi, this is Legacy Handyman. Today we're going to show you how to wire IntelliConnect by Pentair. It's automation controller for your pool. Here's the setup. This is the main pump. This is the booster pump. What do we have here? We got our conduit coming in with the power. We got the main pump connected and the booster pump. Two circuits. This is two neutrals for your circuits. We're going to tie them together. And this is your 110 leg and 110 leg. So if you put 110 in neutral, it will be 110. But if you got two hots, 110 and 110, from different phases, it will be 220. According to diagram, you can connect line one and line two. Let's say this is line one and this is line two. We connect to these two terminals. You can also connect one neutral wire to the terminal number two and one hot wire from line one it's still gonna work but since we're not using any neutrals we will connect both of these wires to terminal one and two you can interchange them that's fine that's what's gonna power our device all uh, right now we're going to uh, cut the pieces of wire. I don't have a solid wire, so I got stranded leftover piece. And gonna strip it for our jumpers. If you have same gauge or uh, solid wire, you can definitely use that. Now we're going from line one. We're gonna tighten up these screws on, li on line one. Do the little pull test so it doesn't come out on you. The second jumper will go on the line two side along with your power coming in. Now we power in the device with the uh, with the 220 that coming in from from your panel. Now we're going with this jumper to line one from line one to line line one on the relay side. And the second jumper from line two going to corresponding line two on the relay one. So now we're gonna go and power 220 when the breaker is on, 220 coming to power the device and uh, line one and line two to power the uh, relay one. From relay one, we're going to control the main motor. So the main motor are coming from this conduit right here. And these two wires will go to the load side of the relay one. Again, it's 220, so it's 110 each leg. So it doesn't matter which wire you connect in, blue or black, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, our main pump will be running from load one and load two. Since our relay two is gonna be powering the booster pump, the booster pump will only run when the main pump is on. Because if you run it without, main pump on it'll burn it up real quick we want to make sure that doesn't matter what relays do the relay 2 will only uh, have a power when the main pump is running we're going to take another two jumpers and install them from load side of the main pump to line side for the booster pump so it's going from load one to line one on relay two. Okay. 
the second jumper will go from load two to line two on the relay two. Little pull test on every jumper. Make sure they're all in. Only two wires left. It's a booster pump wires, and they will go on the relay to load one and load two. Again, two neutrals are tied together. I'll just put the wire knot on it, or you can just wire knot them separately. All the green wires are wire knotted uh, when we install the box. Also, if you're buying this on Amazon, they recommend buying the temperature sensor, which is connected over here on that control uh, side of the, of the system. And it's uh, connected to the pipe. All it does, it's uh, making sure the pump is kicking on when the temperature drops below freezing point. So before we close it all up, turn the power on and check it out. Uh, we're going to turn on the switch and see if it's uh, all working. Link is blinking and the service light is on. That means everything is ready to work. Once we press this button, the main pump will come on. When this pump is on, this pump can also come on. But if this one is off, this pump will not come on because it's got no voltage going into it. See, it's gonna go into the uh, fault mode. So let's try it. Both pumps shut off when you when relay one is off. So we're gonna put it in auto, test if it works with the app and pretty much we're done over here we can close it all up again testing if everything is on now we're going to test if it's working with the app we got single speed filter pump run we're going to go back we're going to Turn on the booster pump. Turn on okay. Run now. And the booster pump kicks on. However, if we go back and we'll shut off this, booster pump will cut off also, which is what we wanted to do in the first place. And this is working correctly. Now we're ready to close it. We had these controllers for the pumps. This was it for the main pump, this one for booster pump. And uh, this one was faulty, so that's why we changed it in the first place. Thank you for watching, that was Legacy Handyman. That's how you wire IntelliConnect control system for your pool. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. All tools and materials we used in this video, you can purchase using the link below in the description.